Hello again. Uh, thanks for your company. Um, so, hotly on the uh, tales of chapter two of Ephesians, we move into chapter three. Let me read the first uh, two or three verses. Uh, for this reason, the reasons that we've been thinking about over the last few days, for this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for the sake of you Gentiles. Surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you, that is the mystery made known to me by revelation, as I've already written briefly. When Paul talks about mystery, he's not talking about um, something that um, is really difficult to uncover or discover. Uh, what Paul is talking about is that we, we don't, it's something that, it, that is difficult to understand, but is still there. It's clearly there. It's obviously there. Now, we don't understand why. We don't understand the mechanics of, of why this should be. But we're, we're to glory in the fact that it is. Uh, and so all that Paul is trying to get across to the Gentile people, remember Paul was a fervent Jew. He was determined uh, that, that his strange uh, faith should be preserved for the Jewish nation alone. But on the road to Damascus, he was transformed, he was changed, his view was changed. And now he's devoted his life and his... Um, uh, freedom to the fact that um, he wants to make known to the Gentiles, including to us, the reality of, of, of God through Christ. And that's the mystery that has been made known to him. He, he doesn't particularly, I think, understand why this should be. He doesn't especially understand why he should have spent so many years in the wrong. But he does understand now that Christ is determined to reach out to every single one of us with this revelation of God's love and to bring us into the heart of God's family. And so all that Paul is thinking about just here, he's, he's looking back to the, the, the events and the significance of the events on the cross. And he's saying, for this reason, because of all of this, because of all that Jesus has done, I'm able to, to uh, unpack a little of the mysterious love of God to you Gentiles as well. That should bring us great joy. It should bring us great glory and it should bring us great hope because we uh, are thereby brought into this family, this building, this structure of God's uh, kingdom that we've been thinking about this week. So again, let's rejoice, let's celebrate. Let's give thanks to God. Let me pray now. Gracious God, thank you uh, that you went to such lengths, such amazing lengths to include us and to involve us and to incorporate us within your people. We praise you and worship you. May that be the evidence of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless. Take care.